Song. Come on, like I told y'all, y'all know I got the flyest intro music. Come on, don't play me like that. Don't play me like that. Y'all know what it is, y'all. Hey, man, I'm excited about this show, too, man. I'm excited about most of my shows, but this one here is a little extra, man. I got somebody on here, man, that I just recently discovered, man, a bad boy. But before we get to him, let me read these comments. You know, my crew snatches off of the stuff that y'all leave. So we're going to see what some of y'all have said. All right. This right here is from the John Sally episode. Filmmaker Jay says... John Sally and Arsenio Hall are for sure from the same tribe. Dope interview. I don't know what that meant, but maybe they look alike or something like that, John Sally. I don't know. They say from the same tribe, but it's all good. Filmmaker Jay, good looking out, bro. I appreciate that, the comment. All right, this is also another John Sally episode. Rayon, Rayon R-Y-O-N, Rayon. I used to wear you back in the 80s, man, late 80s. Uh, Rayon uh, Mason said, you got to get Mark Curry on here. Of course I gotta get him on here. If he wants to do it, is he willing to come into the panic room? Some folks are a little afraid to come into the panic room because they know what the comedy is about too. So, but now I like John, uh, uh, Mark Curry. Mark Curry, my man, I'm gonna holler at him. I'm gonna put something out and see can he uh, come through. That'd be dope. This is from the DC Curry episode, which is a very well, shout out to my boy DC Curry. Um, L, E L, underscore B, 5000 says, why Pierre trying making it seem like next Friday wasn't good? It was hilarious. It was better than Friday after next. Shit, you crazy. Man, Friday after next had Cat Williams in it, man. Had Ricky Smiley in it. Boy, you tripping, man. I don't know what kind of TV you was watching, brother. But next Friday was all right. They was all out in the suburb with the Mexicans and all that. That didn't even feel like a Friday. Come on. It wasn't until they came back in the hood on the Christmas time that it took it to another level. Now, I don't know who you are, L underscore B5000. You might be from 5000 BC, nigga. That's what you were. You're from old school, man. But no, I'm, we're going to go with... Uh, uh, my thing, Friday after next was dope. That's where we were introduced to uh, Cat Williams. Cause come on now, you can't hold that back. All right, y'all. This next guest I got, man. I just like I said, I recently discovered him, man. He's uh, my God, he's funny as hell. Characters, I mean, come on now. I, I can't even count how many characters are. You know who he is. You his fan. If you're not his fan, you're going to be his fan after this, man. I got a lot of love for the boy. It's my guest. Give it up for the one and only Major High. Come on, y'all. Give some love. Come on, y'all. Yeah. The boy here. Yeah, we made it. Mama, I made it. Yeah, really? She Mama, I love you. You made it before you got here, brother. That's how you got here, because you made it. You okay? know what that's, that's how we're going to do it right there. Man, look at you. First of all, man, thank you so much for coming on my Absolutely. show. Really, man. Pleasure, really, man. man. You, you, you was a star, man. You was I mean, a star, you, man. Come on now. You the star. Well, you know? we're we going to bounce it out with yeah, each yeah, other. Okay, yeah, here yeah, we go. Yeah, here yeah. we go. Yeah, it's um, enough stars in the sky. I know that's right. So, um, first of all, let's, let's, let's talk. You, 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 would you consider yourself an internet cessation? Absolutely not. Okay. Not? Okay, no. No, absolutely not. Okay. No. Okay, so let, 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 let's go to this. The, the reason why I say that is because internet sensations stay on the internet. Okay. They don't, they don't go on stage. Oh, watch out. And, and, they don't, and they don't rock the stage either. Now, hold on. They go on stage. Yeah. They, they don't ever rock the that's stage. That's why I added that second okay, part. Okay, put the part in. They go on stage now. That's why they I added the second part. They knocked me off the comedy club. They went on Is that what we're doing here now? It's packed, but that's what we're doing yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, no. Yeah. So, okay, I respect that. I, because yeah. I've seen some clips, man. You was funny as hell. So, we get in there, man, as a stand-up. And I like to see that. I like people. I'm not a hater. I'm not a, like a new comic hater. Right. If you, if you deliver it, right. bro, I got to give it to you, yeah, man. You absolutely. know what I'm saying? I have Absolutely. no problem with giving it to them. You know, I mean, I mean it's, the, it's the new era. So, I mean, right. you know, you utilize what's at your, at your disposal. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? And, and I tell people that, I say, if my, my era had, had internet, we'd have done the same thing. We just of had Def Comedy Jam and Comic View. Of course. So don't, you know, the old heads, you know, I yeah, get it, yeah, man, because yeah, they ain't got time to get online yeah. and shit, I mean, you know? I mean, it should be a mutual respect. That's right. how I look at it. You know, the, the vets that see something good in the new nowadays comedians right. should embrace them. Right, right. And, the, and the young dudes that's coming up should, should respect right. the vets. Right, right. No, no, no. And I like that because I try to in, 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 intermingle with them. Right. I've had Funny Marco. I've had Country Wayne. I've had Absolutely. all you know, people on there, you know, yourself. So people who blew up from the internet, I don't have no problem with that. Absolutely. But let's find out who you are. Let's so, uh -huh. um, I, I know you're from the Caribbean. We'll right. go with that, okay? I, right. I heard that one, okay? Right, we, go right, right. we don't know where right. in the Caribbean, but nigga, right. a, boat, a boat brought you here, okay? Yeah, I was, oh, okay. I was born on a cruise ship, so, <laughs> oh, okay. so we're still trying to figure out where exactly I'm from. I ain't got a problem with that, okay? <laughs> All right, we'll go with that one. Um, growing up, wherever you were, how old were you came to the States? 
I was about nine, ten years old. Nine, ten years yeah. old. Okay. Yeah. Did your whole family come over with you? Absolutely. Well, my mother was actually here before I got here. Okay. So, okay. Okay. You know. um, what's your structure of your family growing up? Like, and when you came to the states, what was the structure like? I mean, basic Caribbean culture, man. You know, very prideful, very, very respectable, very hardworking. Right. You but, know, did, but was a fat was a father in the house, sister? Like, what's well, that I had my, my father. I never lived with my father. Okay. However, he was a part of my life. Okay. So and, even back in the Caribbean, you didn't live with him. Right. Okay. But he he was definitely a part of my life the whole time. So okay. it's not like you know I'm, I don't have one of them stories like I don't know my dad right. and I don't know I don't got that. Okay. You cool. know what I'm saying? I know exactly who my dad is. You right. know what I'm saying? And he definitely played a role in my life. Um, but I would say my grandfather right. played a more substantial role right. than that. You know. Right. In, in my life as a man. Okay, so when you were growing up, when did your mother leave to the States? How old were you then? Uh, maybe six, something like that. Okay, so for about a couple of years, two or right. three years you went with your mother. Right. Okay, so back then you were being raised by your grandfather. No, by my no. aunt. Oh, by your aunt. Yeah, okay. my grandfather was already here. He was here, okay. Set, setting the foundation. Oh, nice, nice, Yeah, he's nice, setting the nice. foundation. I grew up in a brownstone house in New York. Word up. So I don't, you see, that's another thing. I don't have the ghetto stories and the, <laughs> know you know, like, I don't got the, like, the right, project right. stories. Hey, it's cool, it sounds right, good. Right, right. You know, I, I wish I did have that experience. Right. I mean, I had that experience going to friends' houses. Right, that, come on now. But I grew up in a brownstone. Come on now. I, I was like one of the Huxtables, you know what I'm saying? Man, it's so funny. One time I talked about that. I said, you know, my father, my parents just got their education together and, and right. did what we had to do. I, and I told that about D, to DL one time. He said, I love it. He said, you ain't got no shame of telling me that you grew up in a decent neighborhood. Absolutely now, not. Now, I did go in some hood shit, you know, and my aunt and uncle, they was in the hood, so I had to visit them for the, for the summer or whatever. So well, you I know, had a feel you know, of it. You know, our type of kid, our type of structure, we, we go look for that. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. That's what the fun was. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's, on, that's what it's you know at. I want to experience the barbecues you know in the middle of the projects. Come you know on, what I'm man. Saying? You yes, know, sir. in the hood, you get a little extra stuff with hide and go seek. You're going to get a little yeah, seek seek yeah, when you, you hide. You play house in the projects. Right. It's a little come different. Come on now. Damn that. You know what I'm saying? In the brownstone, they're like, no, my kid can't come out and play. Like, oh, damn. Yeah, 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 I'm going yeah, over yeah. to yeah, best style of the hood. Yeah, my grandparents were super strict. So Okay, okay. You know, yeah, okay, yeah, cool. They, they, they wasn't playing with us. Now, now, um, is there a reason why you just represent the the Caribbeans, you don't say where you're from. Is there a reason because of that? I, I never really planned for that, to be honest. Oh, really? I, I never planned to not speak on my on my on my nationality. It, okay. It just became a thing that every because I do multiple action accents okay. from from the Caribbean. Everybody was asking me like, "Where you from? Where you from? Where you from?" And that, that, that it, it was just annoying. Okay. Because to be honest, you know, I felt like, well, I know that you know the Caribbean is very segregated. Y'all, mm. y'all might not know that. Right, I didn't know but that. But it was very seg segregated coming up, especially in like the '80s, '90s. First of all, American people didn't even know no, no other island except for Jamaica. Right, come on. That'd if be you real, had yeah. an accent, you was Jamaican. Right, it didn't right. matter <laughs> where you was from, really. Right, right. That's you know what I'm saying? Right. So the differentiation of different accents, people started to actually be educated through my my work. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But then everybody wanted to claim me and ask me where I'm from, and I right, felt right, like right. I didn't want to do that because Smart. I'm I'm really thinking about unifying the Caribbean. I'm not thinking about segregating it. So I don't want to say I'm from here and then everybody else is like, right. nah, he ain't one of us. So, right, sure. you know what I'm saying? So I just left it at that. But it, it wasn't it wasn't a secret or anything like that, but. Do, do you need to have a trained ear to see the diff hear the different accents? Because all y'all sound the same to me. I'm be real. This is what I'm talking about. I mean, I, I can't what, what you were saying. I mean, come on. I mean, I mean. I'm gonna have to bring saying? you on tour with me, Let's bro. Go. So you, yeah, let me yeah, see. Yeah, I gotta bring shit. you to Trinidad, Grenada, oh, yeah, Haiti. Right, right. I gotta bring you to Jamaica because yeah. you know I, it, it's it's a, it's very different. It's okay. very different, but with, in the same breath of saying that, you mm -hmm. know, it's still the Caribbean. Sure, I get you that. You know what I'm saying? And 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 to me, I've I've seen every mostly every island in mm -hmm. the Caribbean, and I believe that all of it is paradise. Nice. You know what I'm nice. saying? So it's just the different ethnicity, ethnicity as far as, you know, accent, cultural mm -hmm. vibes. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, the cultures, the cultures is very similar. Right, right. Yeah. It's funny. I'm going to tell you a little secret. Don't nobody know this. Mm -hmm. It's true stuff. I've never had oxtail. No, you bugging. I'm, I'm sorry, brother. You I didn't never bugging had, out, I, I've bro. had all kinds of Jamaican food, I mean, nah. Caribbean food. Rice and beans. How and dare beans. you? I'm sorry, I didn't nah, have nah, a nah. hat. You, you, know, you, know, you know I take a lot of pride in cooking. 
Oh, what? Like I'm, a, like I'm a chef, chef. Well, a lot of Jamaicans cook. I mean, well, Caribbean people cook well. <laughs> Jamaican, my bad. Caribbean. No, I, that's yeah. cool. It's yeah, cool. Yeah, everybody, yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. call me whatever they want. Trust but you me. know what I'm saying? I was, I was yeah. in a gas station the other day, and this dude walked up to me and said, I know you're Haitian, man. I know right, that. You right, got to Haitian. be Haitian. Right, right. Yeah, so right. everybody claim me. I don't, right. It's all good. But I didn't have, not people, I know people who love oxtails. So wait, but wait, 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 wait. Americans eat oxtail too, but they, they call it oxtails. Uh, what is it? Oxtail? That's what we call it. Oxtail. Hey, yeah. oxtail, oxtail. I mean, because, you know, we Caribbean, we poor, so we only bought one tail. Y'all got money, so y'all buy it. That makes sense. Okay. Tails. Okay. 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 Mm. Well, I make, I got a lot of money, so I eat the only the better part right, of it. Right. Inside the body. Right. Okay. Yeah. All that. Well, you know, okay. you, you know, I'm that's. I'm not going to do it with eating the fucking hooves and the tails <laughs> and the ears and shit, okay? You never had cow foot soup? Remember I told you my family was well off. You know, we had steak, filet mignon, lobster. So, so my family was my farm, my family was okay too. Okay. But we still stuck to the script, boy. Okay, I, ain't, I ain't mad at you. You gotta stretch nah. the. You gotta stretch that. You know uh, what I'm saying? Uh, uh, what do you call it? Cow foot soup, bro. Come on, son. Cow foot. All right. So, on purpose? so I'm, I'm you ate it on purpose. I ate it because I had to. Oh, well, you, okay. well, you, know. you eat so what's in front of you in yeah. the Caribbean. So the inmates home. in jail. I mean, it is what it is. <laughs> exactly. But, but yeah, tell me about it. About so, it. so, so, all right. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell all you right, something. I'm gonna tell you something that all, all the Jamaicans probably gonna be mad at me oh, about. Oh, okay. This, that's your camera too. So, so, so you have a, you have a, you know what, you know what cow cod soup is? Cow cod. Yeah. No. All right. Cow cod soup is made with the cow's penis. That's why I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I know to drop the draw the line, and, but and okay. they, they make the soup with it, and it's supposed to be like, well, in the Caribbean, I'm gonna tell you right now, everything they give you to eat, they're gonna tell you that is good for your, right, your sex drive. So, right, right. Everything that you eat is good for your sex drive. So, that's you know. so. Tell me how cod tastes, man. Peanut I don't know. Tastes. I never had it. Why not? Don't you feel mm -hmm. healthy? Don't you want to be mm -hmm. healthy like the Jamaican? I mean, I, I mean, it, it, you got two. You got two options in a Caribbean home. Okay. And, and, and Caribbean homes is actually <laughs> very similar to African homes as well. Right, you got really? two options. You okay. got two options. When we cook, it's either you gonna eat what's in front of you, right. or you gonna go to bed hungry. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And 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 when they made that cow cod soup, I was going to bed hungry. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Because you knew what was in it. I mean, you knew oh, what it was. Absolutely. I'd have tricked you if I was your mama. No, man, listen. I'd have said it's a it's, it's a hoof. Man, whatever. That's trauma. That's, 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 that's why we need therapy today. That's why we need therapy today because our parents right. our parents was tricking us too much. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. But no, let me. All right, so let me talk about the, the success a little bit. You're mm -hmm. pretty you're pretty much the biggest thing in comedy in the Caribbean to me. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, people people know who you are. Absolutely. When I told them you was coming on the show, they're like, "What? I know who that is." Like, <laughs> absolutely. And they wasn't all uh, from the Caribbean. You know what I'm right. saying? Right. Absolutely. I, I mean, I got a demographic yeah. outside of the right. Caribbean. Right, right. Yeah, but definitely. you're really the monster in, in that joint. Right? Yeah, definitely. Um, definitely. And it's, what I like too is you're able to switch your accents. I mean, from American to. You of know, course. Yeah, of course. You know, I mean, I was raised in Brooklyn, so. See, I, 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 didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Did, did you go to Catholic school? Because, you know, a lot no. of. No. Really? Because a lot of no. people from like the Caribbean sent their kids. No. Biggie Mama sent us over there to the, you know. Yeah. To a good school. I've I, I, I probably been kicked out of most schools that I went to, so. Really? Yeah. So, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, I was that guy. Really? Yeah. I they can fight guy. a lot. Not fight. It teased you on your I was, I was the time. class clown, you know, coming up, especially coming up in the 90s. Right. Hell yeah. You, in the 90s, you, you know, we never, I, I just learned to smile in pictures the, like recently. Wow. That's real. That's real. Like we never smiled in pictures. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you know, also coming up as a Caribbean child right. in that demographic, you was either they called you Haitian body odor. They called wow. you African booty scratcher. Right. You was a coconut. Right. You wow. just got off the banana boat. All of that stuff. So, you know, and we fight wow. different. So, you what know, y'all y'all fight with y'all hands and it's just y'all hands. Y'all stay way back. Y'all stay no, way back. No, 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 we going to kick you. We going to bite you. Really? We going to do whatever it takes to win that fight. Is this a Caribbean thing? One of my friends, shout, shout out to my man Will Silvers, had a funny joke. But y'all always ask why for everything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, why you want to know? Why you ask me that? Why yeah, you think I didn't we, answer the question? It, it need to make sense. It, why? Because a lot of us ain't here straight. We ain't legal, so we oh, want to know wow. why, why you is? asking me that. You setting me up? Why What's you want to know on? that question? Why? You work for why immigration? What's going on? Now, sometimes your mother asking, or the parents like, why you want to know that? Why you do that in school? Why not be a? Why you want to be comedy yeah, yeah, guy? Yeah. Why you want to be comedy guy? Oh, that wasn't that wasn't a thing in my house, boy. Uh, to be a comedian, I know oh, that's right. That wasn't a thing at all. Why not lawyer? Why you want to do something? Yeah, exactly, exactly. I can imagine. 
imagine that fight, man. I can imagine that <laughs> now fight. Now my mother walk around and tell everybody, you know, know, that's you know Major Hype? That's my that's side. That's my side. That's good. That's, yeah. that's, that's actually, that's, that's yeah. dope. That's yeah. dope. Um, I can imagine the fight to become that. Um, was there any inspirations that you saw on TV or something coming Absolutely. up that you said, I want to be that, you know, I want to be him? Absolutely. I mean, of course, I, I, my, my, my stepdad, when he was in the house, all he watched was Sanford and Son. So Red Fox, go. Red Fox was definitely an influence in my life. And I, uh, at the at the young age of like fourteen, I'm watching uh, I'm watching Delirious and Raw. Well, there you go now. You know, and I'm like, man, like you know what I'm saying? Sure. Cause I, so a lot of people don't know, right? But I I started off my entertainment career as a as a as a as a musician. Yeah, yeah, played a lot of instruments. Yeah, yeah. seven instruments, right? I so heard. I've I've been. You know, my main instrument is alto saxophone. Okay. And, you know, I, I transcended into being a DJ and all of that other stuff. So it was always m music. Mm -hmm. it, it's easier for a DJ to command a crowd when right. you got, when you're playing a favorite song in the background. Of course, of course. But when you're a comedian and it's just you, mm -hmm. the microphone, and them people. That's right. Yeah, ain't no, ain't no edits, ain't no mistakes, ain't none of that. And if you are making mistakes, your crowd ain't supposed to know that. Nice. You know what I mean? Right. So I've learned that and I've did my research and I've watched so many different stand up shows right. and, 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 and stand up specials and right. stuff like that. And just just, you know, just grasping from everybody who I've watched. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And, and just trying to perfect it, the craft on my own. Now, you said you play alto saxon? Yes. Saxon. Yeah. Let me ask you a question. Tell me what he played. I don't know if you're a fan of him. Mm -hmm. Clarence Clemens. Of course. Come on, bro. You know I knew that. Of course. That's what uh, Bruce Wayne said. Of course. Well, Clarence uh, Clemens, of course. Street. Yes. He was a bad dude with <laughs> oh, that, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. He, he, it, it was Bruce Springs thing uh -huh. and him. Oh, yeah. He brought that, he brought that saxophone with him. Uh, oh, you know yeah. What I'm Kenny G, too. He's another oh, no, one. Oh, no, can't do that. Kenny wrong was, show, man. Wrong show. Man. Oh, I'm sorry. Watch out. Yeah, yeah, wrong show, man. He's coming. Watch. Why are you bring that up? Why are you talking about him? Why are you bring Kenny up? How would you do that? <laughs> no, nah, nah, I'm messing with you. Um, <laughs> Um, you were, you were pretty much seven instruments. I heard you were pretty much a child prodigy. Prodigy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Prodigy. Okay. Yeah, pro well, prodigy. Yeah. Uh, on, why are you calling me prodigy? <laughs> my, English, my English not good. Why you want to know about my English? My English not that good. You nervous because yeah. you got somebody who speaks other cultural. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Yeah, yeah. I it's all good. No, okay. Um, so so that's dope. So you play yeah. all those instruments. What, yeah. what instruments do you play? The alto sax. I mean, so 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 if you have a mouthpiece for the instrument, mm -hmm. say like, like trombone, right. Uh, flute. trumpet no f flute yeah f those are called woodwind instruments okay so once you learn how to play a, no those are called I'm sorry brass instruments okay right when you when you play an instrument with a reed such as yep. a saxophone or whatever right, right, thing. that's woodwind instruments okay so once you once once you basically learn how to play any brass instrument or any woodwind instrument you could basically play all of them Oh, wow, right, okay. so you got the tuba, you got the trombone, you got the trumpet. Most people know how to play all of them, right? Then you got the woodwind instruments, the, the clarinet, the saxophone, you know, all of those. Right. Those are woodwind instruments, just okay. like percussion. If you play right. percussion, you play the drums. Most likely, you know how to play the congos. congos you know how to, right. you know what I'm saying? So it's that. really more than seven, but right. I just like seven. It's, it sounds, you know, you can't sound too boastful when you when you when you say you could do something. I got to holler at my girl, my my ex girlfriend. What? <laughs> She was more magician musician than I know. She played the skin flute. Yeah, she not play that. Okay, we gonna. I'm see because you do other woodwind instruments. She was going. She was pipe that mummy. Damn. I'm like, you almost had me. I'm like skin flute. I'm like the skin flute. Where you buy that at? Guitar Center. You got the skin flute from Guitar Center. Okay, nah, son. We don't do that like that. So. So at a very young age, you talk about your connection with your grandfather. Right. I heard he had you performing at places. Absolutely. Grown folk places. Absolutely. You eight, nine years old. I had no business being there. And he told you get on stage or get up there and, and perform. Absolutely. So you ain't been afraid to get on the stage for. Well, that, well, that's what I'm saying, right? Glory be to God, man. I'm telling you right now, when God is in your life and, and he puts you on a journey, you just got to trust him. Okay. And, you know, a lot of things that, that happened in my life previously didn't make sense to me, but now it makes it makes sense. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, you couldn't tell me I wasn't going to be a a, 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 a a musician. Right. You, you couldn't tell me that. Sure. Then when I started DJing, you couldn't tell me I wasn't going to be the biggest DJ. Okay. Then when I started producing and making music, you couldn't tell me I wasn't going to be the next Pharrell. You know what I'm saying? Right. But 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 I believe, 
and, 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 and based on my journey and where I'm at in life now, I believe that all of those things was grooming me for what I am doing nice. today. True that. True you know that. what I'm saying? So I don't have no regrets when it comes to, you know, what I didn't pursue and what, what, what didn't work out for me. You know, the nose, when you hear the nose, the nose sound real bad when you right. hear it. Sure. But then later on in life, you, when you realize, okay, that no was a yes over here. Right, there you, you know go. what I'm saying? That's when it, you know, Two exactly. So. Well, you became successful, so it's always good to look at it that way. But people who are struggling and, and they hear no's all the time, it's hard to find. And somebody's going to be yes to one day. You well, know, a, lot of people, a lot of people ain't, 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 ain't submitting to God's journey okay. that, they want, that he wants you to be on. Nice. You know what I'm saying? Right. A lot of people is, is stubborn. Yeah. You got gifts and you got talents. You might be the most talented dude in the room, mm -hmm. but that might not be your gift. Nice. You know what I'm saying? You might, be the, you might have the, the nicest radio voice right now, but that might not be your gift. You might be able to, you might be the person who got to work at uh, the Brave Stadium. Right, you know right. what I'm saying? That's a non-ouncer or whatever. You know what I mean? Awesome. So we just got to just search within ourselves. And, that, you know, that's, that's kind of what happened with the music industry, too. You know what I'm saying? Like being a rapper, being a singer, it's so saturated now because everybody feel like they could do it, right? And that's the same thing that's happening with comedy Come on now. now. Everybody's saturating comedy now so that it's like, you know, everybody's a comedian. Right. You know that's what I'm awesome. saying? I've, I've done been to, to comedy clubs where they say they're comedians, but they're not doing stand-up. Come on now. they sitting on a chair doing a live podcast. Don't do that. You, you know what I'm Don't saying? That. That's, not the, that's not the structure of stand-up. Right. You know what I mean? So, I mean, you know, people just trying to capitalize and just trying to, you know, hustle out right, the business right, sure. and really don't got the love for it sure. as being a stand-up comedian. And I think that's what is always going to differentiate the right. real from right. the ones that I just I appreciate hustling. you saying that, too, because, you know, club owners are the point. It's a, it's a money-making thing. Oh, yeah. So absolutely. if you can just do arm farts or sit down or put, uh, oh, yeah. put a wig oh, yeah. on or whatever oh, it is yeah. on stage and jump, come back and come back with another outfit on and you packing the club up, these comedy clubs oh, don't yeah. care no more. They oh, just want to yeah. make some money opposed to putting some good acts. And I understand it because mm -hmm. if a good act maybe not, don't sell out all the shows, it's mm -hmm. a business. Right. So I try to tell my friends who are good acts, find a way to get your name out bigger. You have the internet. Do well, it because well, well, you deserve to be on. A, a lot of, a lot of, I, I feel like a lot of the veteran uh, comedians are stubborn. To, of course. to to internet and stuff mm -hmm. like that because they came in through that era where they was in the comedy cellar where they was in Carolines there was all of these you know places and that's how they they they, they got their structure through there mm -hmm. right so they like man I ain't got time to be sitting on no damn mm -hmm. internet and telling nobody this and telling nobody that but th you got to understand that if you want to be relevant you have right. to move with the time right? right right when I was a DJ you know we started off with rap wax records, you okay. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was records and crates. Right. Then it moved from, from, from records to CDs. Then it moved from CDs to laptops. So, I mean, if you wanted to be relevant in, this, in, in that business, you had to move with that time. You, you gonna sit now. here and still play records? Right. And then be mad at anybody that got laptops? I got a thousand songs, <laughs> right. you know what I'm saying? I got 10,000 songs in this laptop right. and you got a thousand records. Right. What is that thing they have, a Serato or something Serato, like that? Serato, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember, yeah, I remember Serato, that yeah, from DJs yeah, yeah, and stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, technology is going to do its thing. Okay, right. You know what I'm saying? And, and I tell people all the time, you know, um, as far as social media is concerned, I tell people, like, you know, it's a tool. Okay. It's either you're going to use it as a tool or it's going to use you right. as a tool. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to be showing you what I had for lunch. I'm not here to show you who I'm dating. I'm not here to show you what my car looked like. I'm here to let you know where's my next show. Mm -hmm. I'm here to let you know that I'm funny online and offline. You know what right. I'm saying? That's that's the purpose of for me. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I don't get I try not, I try my best not to get caught up in my personal life and 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 and, and my comedic life. You know what I'm saying? So, you mean on stage? You mean you know? No, I'm talking oh. about on 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 social, social media. media. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? Exactly. You, you got to understand. Like right now, people want content. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And content could be anything. Mm -hmm. However, I'm in control of what I'm giving you. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I, I use it as a tool. Mm -hmm. I'm not here to show you, yo, I'm 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 hanging with this one or I'm you know what I'm saying? Unless it's it's feasible to my career. And that's just what it is. That makes sense. Now, you know, with this time now we got like the cancel culture going on oh, and yeah. stuff like that. Oh, yeah. And you know, people don't like this, that. Oh, yeah. I thought a lot of time they come for you oh, for yeah. certain things. They, yeah, yeah. How, how what do you, you know what, what's your way to handle that? Um I say this, man. Like I said before, God is in control of all things, right? Okay. That's 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 at the forefront of anything I do. Okay. Secondly, um, I created this journey. I, I I jumped on this journey and created this for myself, right? Okay. With the with the with the help of God, right? Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you can't stop. You, no, there's nobody that could stop me. Mm -hmm. Especially when we have this tool called social media. 
right? So back in the days, if you wanted to become a rapper, you had to go submit your de your demo tape. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you wanted right, to be right. an actor, you had to go to auditions. If you know what I'm saying? We have it in our hands right now. Every day, we have this device in our hands that I can reach whoever I need to reach to uh, to show my talents or show what I do. But some people can cancel you off that. Like YouTube huh. can stop, Instagram can, can block your account and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, that's different. If if, oh. if, if they, if social media is canceling you, then that's different. I'm, I, I'm talking about the people. people. Okay, regular people, okay, I get right? you. Right, because there's this right. cancel culture that people feel like they can right. cancel you. You no, gotta you understand, right. first of all, first of all, I don't I don't respect the cancel culture because it's 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 any little thing. It's it's trying sure. to Come it's on, trying man. to please somebody. It's right. it's being it's being accused of something. It's not even being found guilty. It's 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 being uh somebody said this about you and you're done. Right? So it's not even it's not even at one point it used to be, all right, cool. We know that you've been doing this. So now <laughs> it's trying to cancel you. But now it's like the littlest thing you hear is like, nah, we done with him. And you got to understand the, the, the time and dedication that it takes for somebody to be in this business. A lot of people is on this journey that hasn't, haven't made a dollar for the last 10, 15, 20 years. Now they get their break and society sees them and he says one thing or does one thing and it's like, yo, get rid of him. Mm. This, is, this is this person's whole life. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And life is filled with mistakes. People right. make mistakes all day. And people get chastised for their mistakes. But at the end of the day, do I say, all right, cancel him for, for life now? Do I say his children shouldn't eat? Should I say he should lose his house and his cars? No, I'm, not, I'm never going to agree with that. Right. You know what I mean? So right. at I the end of the day, depending on the severity. Let right. me put that yeah, there. Okay, but yeah. Yeah, but, because but, people like to misconstrue words. So but, but, so, you know, you're right, but some people act like every little small thing. Right, is any little thing. Um, that's one of the reasons. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Most of my fan base, I work over 30. I try to find over 30. That's right. why I bring old, old school cats on here. Some of mm -hmm. people are a little more veteran mm -hmm. because I'm not for the 22-year-old, 23. Right. I'm okay with that. You right. know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so I'm not worried about if a 27 year old don't like me, 22 year old don't get me. It's fine. You ain't supposed to. I'm a grown ass man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, so, well, well, at the end of the day, I say this to you: um, you embrace who embrace you. There you go. Right? Whether they 24, 16, 12, embrace who embrace you. Right. right? So there there might be a kid that's coming up that see one of your movies right. that you was in, or might see one of your stand up shows and be like, I don't care how old he is, he's right. funny and I right. like him. Right. You embrace. You see, the, the problem with us these days, and when I say us, I'm speaking in general. The problem with us as entertainers these days, we love to entertain the negative mm -hmm. and don't entertain the positive. Mm -hmm. We might put up a post and you might have 300 people that say, oh, I like this post, it's cool. But the two people that said, well. That outfit is corny, right. or you ugly. <laughs> right. We on they ass. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, who you? Let me meet me. Right. Where, you know what I'm saying? So I've I, and I had to learn that too. Like you got to understand, bro. Social media has gave has given the 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 the, the cornballs a worst. seat at the table. Right, the, the worst. Uh, uh, right, is a voice. You, you think about think about the lunchroom when we was in high school. Come on now, right. If you wasn't a cool cat or a cool dude or you wasn't, you know, one of those right. guys, you couldn't sit at this lunch table. Sure. That is what social media has done. Allowed the cornballs to sit at the cool cat's table, right? And, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, you, if you're one of the cool dudes, you're not supposed to be entertaining the, right. the, the bozos. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, right. Right. And, and like I said, I had to learn that the hard way too. Like, I'm not entertaining none of that negative negative nothing i'm not i don't got no response for you i don't have a a rebuttal none of that good you, stuff you know you just do what no. you do and i'm gonna do what i do that's good stuff now let me, let me make clarify this i don't have a problem with under 30. Right, i just right, don't right. go right. serve them i don't go looking for their approval right now if a 25 year old think i'm groovy and funny and cool and shit, come right. on brother hang well, with if me you're gonna use but the word groovy he not going he not going <laughs> not if you use groovy if a 25 year old likes what I do <laughs> and thinks I'm. <laughs> think you lit? If you think you lit? No, I'm lit, nigga. That's, 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 <laughs> I'm a couple years back now, man, homie. We're the same, we're on the same lunchroom table, homie. I see right now, okay? But yeah, I, I, but I don't have a problem with them. I just don't go seeking for their approval. Absolutely. You know, because we're not in the Which same situation. Be. Right, right. Exactly. Uh, you know, and, and I feel like that's, that's one of the problems that we have with society today. You know, when we was growing up, we had the OGs. Mm -hmm. The OGs kept us in line. Okay, come on now. If you was in the corner, or at the corner store, you ain't belong somewhere, they was taking your ass home. You understand what I'm saying? Right. So so, so at the end of the day, we had somebody that, that, that kind of oversaw us, right? Mm -hmm. 
nowadays, we don't even want to be the OGs no more. We want to fit in with the young kids. Mm -hmm. And that's why these kids are such a stray right now, because they got nobody structuring them. You know what I'm saying? And then we turn around and be like, this generation, this generation, th guess what? This generation is our children. Right, sure. You sure. feel what I'm no, saying? No, no, so right. at the end of the day, you got to hold your place in society as where, you know, where you where you. Right. Are. I agree with that. But sometimes it's hard if, because remember my childhood, my, remember when I was 18, 19, 21, 22, it's different than these kids are now. Absolutely. So I got to try to find my way in understanding why you do what you do at this age. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Some stuff is really like, you know, you know, quasi, you know, you right. get what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? My, my, my age, we didn't do that. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. You know, you was over there with the right. girls. <laughs> right. He went over here with us. You know right. So I, I understand sometimes I think things move so quickly in the last 20, 25 years yeah. that we're like, damn, okay, hold on now. And so I think sometimes adults don't know how to communicate. Our OGs don't know how to communicate sometimes Yeah, we stuck them. in that stubborn, that stubborn behavior. Saying like, well, I don't know how to talk to him. Yeah. All right, speaking of cancel culture, is there things you stay away from in your humor? Um, No. Damn. No. He's giving I, what they, he's I, to giving. be honest with you, I like to play with the stereotypes and right. all of that stuff because, you know, for, for example, I come from the Caribbean culture where, you know, uh, the, the gay behaviors and all right. that stuff is not, a, is not, is not accepted in, in, in a lot of the culture. Right. I wear wigs. I play female characters. You I was know gonna ask saying? you about that. So, you know. so at the end of the day, like, Mama Clock. Yeah, you can, that say, word. <laughs> you can say whatever you want to say. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, look, and, look. and if you come to one of my shows, you're gonna see that it's 96 percent female. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, and, and those are the ones who spend money. Right. Think about it. The, the dudes don't come spend on, money. Come on. Uh, exactly. The dudes don't spend money. They, the, most dudes that you see in a comedy club is only there because they girl wanted right. to see sure. this person. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I cater to the females. I don't care. And I know that I know that my message is well received coming from a female character than right. just myself. Right. You know what I'm saying? If I was to say that some of the things that I said on a, a, as a as a as a female character as myself, mm -hmm. I'll probably have a lot of backlash. How, how did you have the strength to wear like a dress and wigs and stuff and it com coming up where you came up? I don't wear like... dresses. Oh, then you're going to be, what, roll? That. Okay, okay. that I don't do. I'm not going that full. Because it's, because, huh? what, what? Because it's, because, because, you huh? gotta, <laughs> the thing about Shit. it is, is that. Yeah, this thing is tipping his toe in it, but it, yeah. Yeah, it's like going to the beach, but not going out into the <laughs> okay. sea, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And the reason why I do that is because I'm not trying to be a female. I'm doing a female reference. So just actually just having the wig and maybe a shirt. But and, you play women characters, you grab your stuff. Right, you know, absolutely. That, that's, that's feminine. That's a reference. I'm not sitting here putting on no bra and, and okay. dress and unless maybe. Uh, you do a movie? Would you do a movie? From the greatest comedians. Maybe. Eddie Murphy, Martin maybe, Lawrence. Maybe it depends. What, what, what depend on what? It depends on what what the what the script say. <laughs> the script say you, the character is a funny you know you know draw, whatever. Dresser. I mean, for example, a Medea. Okay, Medea. I could do that. That's easy. What? That's Hold easy. on. Why is that easy it's to wear a dress? It's an older female character. Man, if I don't get man, I'm gonna start to turn off these lights. <laughs> so it's like if it's old, you can't do a young one. It's different, man. You gotta the, pick your poison, man. I thought a dress was a dress. It's, it's, it's always cool to reference a granny. But not in a dress. Why not? Look at Martin Lawrence did it. Okay. Big, Big Mama's right. house. Perfect. What age do you stop at then? Let's go with that then, nigga. What, 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 We're on, not bro. doing the young, sexy girl with the... Okay, so after 30, 40, you cool with 45 and older, you cool? Yeah, we good with that. Damn. Yeah. Major height went to dress at 45. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I'm not, I'm not, boy. <laughs> listen, listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, you take glass. my glasses Damn. off Damn, you know. the glass is coming off now. It's about to be real up in here. <laughs> Give me a close-up here. <laughs> if the check is right... Mm. Yeah, the, the dress can be tight. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. The dress. Because you know why? I'm so I'm so confident in who I am, and I'm so okay with my right. with my sexual preference right. that none of those things is gonna bother me. Okay, okay. But right now, if it's young, that'll bother you. I'm, it's you not necessary. A... It's not necessary okay. for me. All right. Right. All right. So All right. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm referencing female characters. I, it's not necessary for me to do that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I'm, and I, I and I'm gonna say this to you, right? Mm -hmm. I never was the person that wanted to do female characters. I did it because I couldn't find nobody that could play nah. that necessary right. character that I needed. Right. And then there was another comedian that was coming up that won a lot of people over with a female character. Sure. Mm -hmm. So guess what? In Florida. If 
<laughs> right. <laughs> right. So this is what I'm saying, yeah. right? So you ain't gonna leave me behind. Damn. You know what I'm saying? If, look, look, <laughs> hey, look, if 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 Mercedes Benz add Bluetooth to they fo- to they car, BMW gonna have Bluetooth. Right, right. That's so real, I, that's you real. know that's how I work. That, it is what it is. You know, it's funny. Like, and people are so weird with me when it comes to this. Like, I don't wear a dress. I've never wore a dress in anything. I, like, I don't I don't play an overly gay. Character. I don't think I can. I don't think I'm good at it. If right. I was good at, it, maybe I would do it. But I don't feel like I'm right. good at going over the top with Neither all am that. I. I'm not good you know, at I don't it feel it. I don't feel it in my. You know, I'm not you know, good at right. it. Either. But, but I was raised by by eight aunts. But go ahead. Right, right. But I would say this much, or even a gay character, even a gay character. I, right. just, I don't. But I, I I don't have a problem supporting someone. Like, do your thing, bro. That's right. you. You do right. that. Absolutely. But in the black community, if I say that, you gay. Well, I got to be gay. Nah. I'm just saying I support whatever you nah. do. him went. I don't even wear that stuff or first do the characters. Of, first, of all, first of all, people will say whatever they want to say, right? <laughs> I know, and, true and at the end of the day, let's just keep it real. Okay. We live in a society right. where certain things and certain topics are off limits. Okay. Right? And that's because of, once again, the cancel culture. Mm-hmm. Right? So if I say that I'm against this or I'm against that, you liable to get canceled. That's true. Right? So certain topics people leave alone. People, it, it annoys. I don't it's a have. Damn shame, so, so, so look at this, right? I don't have a problem with anybody who sexual preference preferences to be gay. Okay. That's your preference, right? Sure. You. However, I don't need to sit down and watch eight hours of TV sure. and see that right through the whole uh, the gay commercial, the gay TV, oh, the, oh. Gay, the gay the gay game, the gay everything is gay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have a problem with anybody's sexual preference, but I don't need to, it to be thrown in my face all through the day. Would you accept a white friend telling you, I have no problem with, well, not your friend, but somebody you know, your coworker. Mm-hmm. I have no problem against black people. Mm-hmm. I have no problem. Since I don't want to be around them all day. I don't want to be in my face every day. Well, Jesus, well, right, well, I don't well that's them. not a preference. Being black is not okay. a preference. We was born this way. But hold on. I, I say I'm different. I believe well, you're in the middle, so you. No, I, say, I think homosexuals are born that way. Oh, they're right, and I, I'm, I'm straight, but I'm not gay, so I ain't in the middle of that right there. <laughs> but, but I believe people are born gay. I've talked to homosexual. They you said I was that? born. Yeah, they told me that. I don't believe that. Well, did, have you talked to a homosexual and asked them that? No, no, you didn't. Um, no, I haven't. Exactly, I have, and they said I was born this way. This is so, what I was born. So, do I, so, do I not believe them because I don't? So, do you like believe it? that we come from monkeys? I know something Patrick doing. I mean, oh, wow. I'm, 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 wow. Oh, no, no. And then you picked the Jamaican <laughs> dude to say that. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Jamaican. I know you're Jamaican. Well, I mean, a couple of things. I know. But no. <laughs> um, I was um, waiting for you to say Shaba. Right. Okay, here's the thing. Okay. Do I, no, I, I'm going to go, go with Adam. Hold, hold, hold on. I normally don't like to say crazy stuff because. Adam and Eve just popped around the corner, just two people grown I'm up. I'm not going there. Okay, either. right, I'm not going right. there either. So <laughs> let's, let's just say, let's just say they're, Adam and Eve was born. Let's say, do you believe in Adam and Eve or you don't go there to even talk about it? Do you believe it was, it was Adam and Eve, I a man and woman? What, I believe in what the Bible says. I don't read the Bible that much, so what is it? Adam and Eve? It was Adam and Eve, right, in the Bible? Yeah, but, okay. Adam, and Eve, but Adam and Eve wasn't the only people that God created. They said they, in the Bible? There was more people there. They said in the Bible that Adam and Eve wasn't the first uh, man and woman? Yeah. Oh, wow. What, what, what about you, Webster? Uh, uh, Rastamans? What, what, what Bible you read, man? Yeah, Bob Marley version. Bob Marley, I don't know if I've heard that one before. God make Adam and Eve, right. not Adam and Steve. Steve. Right, right. Bum, bum, right, right. Okay. Well, well, like I said, it's funny. I fight for the right for people to do what they do. That's what I do. But this do. is what I'm saying. Um, the know. point that I was trying to make with mm-hmm. is if you believe that we come from monkeys, mm-hmm. how come we stop changing into human beings now? Stop changing? Yeah, because if we came from monkeys, right? right why mm-hmm. the monkeys is stop Stop right. evolving into right. being human beings. Right, right, right. So what, what you mean? What's our next level? Of what we why we something? Right. Next? Why, no. Why are we? Why are these monkeys not becoming humans anymore? If we come from them. Okay, I don't believe we come from them. Right. This okay. is my point. So I don't believe. <laughs> okay. I don't believe that you're born gay. I believe that's a preference. Okay. Okay. Here's my thing. They had some people believe in Adam and Eve. For those out there who believe in Adam and Eve, they were mm. the first two people. Mm-hmm. Well, here's a couple questions, I believe. Mm-hmm. I asked one person, do you believe in incest? Do you think incest is okay? And they're like, no, 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 no. Okay, well, Adam and Eve See, had Cain and Abel. I'm trying to tell you that they weren't the only people on okay. the earth. That's your, okay, okay. But for those people, R- remember, Adam and Eve had, had, had Cain and Abel. Well, how's a female get from there? And then, and then Cain, and Abel, Cain and Abel left, right? Okay, right, that's and, fine. And he found his wife, right? Well, Where he found his wife Exactly, who, 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 exactly. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, they yeah, wasn't no, the no, only no, people no, on earth. I ain't with the... Earth with an F? Okay, that's cool. Earth, yeah, yeah Earth. I ain't mad with you. I ain't yeah, mad with you. Like but yeah, man. But, but my whole thing is, this, and some people say the first people on Earth were black, 
Let me say that. Mm-hmm. The, the, the original that? man. It depends on what, 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 it depends on what crowd I'm in. Okay, they they, my, my mama's side, hell no, nah, them niggas. They was else. definitely I'm harvesting black, so. watermelon. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> well, but, but yeah, when people tell me that sometimes, the black man's, I say, okay, let's go with the black man, black woman, the first on earth. Mm-hmm. But how do we get blonde hair and blue eyes and Swedish people and Chinese people? That's because a, things whole, have got morphed whole, over. And if it can be morphed over, then gays can be morphed into that too. It can be morphed into that. It started with uh, man and woman, hey, and look, morphed into that. I'll, let's I'll, not stop I'll with say the morphing. This, I'll say this. <laughs> Well, let's not stop with the morphine. Okay, you sound like Morphean. a Power Ranger. Okay, okay, morphine. What's that? What's that? The Matrix, morphine, or Morpheus? Whatever. The fuck Power Ranger, morphine. <laughs> All right. So I'll say this. Right. right we we'll end with that. Okay. I'll say this. Okay. Believe what you want to believe. Okay. Uh, live your life the way you want to live. Okay. Whoever's uncomfortable with your lifestyle, that's on them. Sure. They have I a like personal it. issue with themselves, okay. not with you, right? Because my life shouldn't bother you. There you go. You understand what I'm saying? So at the end of the day. I believe what I want to believe. Mm-hmm. I live how I want to live, mm-hmm. and I and I try to be as 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 transparent, as kind, as loving, as as funny as I can possibly be, and help this world become a better place, regardless of what that that entails. That's how I feel. Okay, no, I, I like that. Speaking of something you believe, mm-hmm. I was told something about Caribbean people. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's true or not. Caribbean men, mm-hmm. y'all do not let a woman cook for you if it's that time of month. Afraid a, of the a lot of women, a, a lot of men don't. A, Not all. A lot of Caribbean men. Don't. Yeah, a lot of Caribbean men don't. What do y'all think? You know, a little something, something. I mean, in there? Th- that's even part of the Muslim culture. You can't. Why not? You, yeah, you can't cook for a Muslim man if you if you see him your cycle. menstrual. Yeah. Ah, wow, mm-hmm. I didn't know that. Rasta culture is the same thing. The, uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. I, mean, I didn't. Know, I thought it was like a myth, but no, it's no, true, no, true. It's, it, no, I mean, the, some cultures that you can't even sleep in the same bed with the man. I don't blame that one. You don't like that? No, I ain't with all that. I don't, you don't like, remember I don't, I don't like doing lights? Huh? You don't remember lights? No, I only do laundry. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're in a hotel. In her house, I don't give a damn, okay? What the fuck? I don't care what if she's squirt, shit, whatever she want to do in bed. It ain't my bed. What do you think about squirting? You think it's pee? Or? It's pee. I don't give a damn what yeah, we're saying. It's I, pee. Yeah. The yeah. way I've seen some of it come out. That's P. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no yeah, you, coming they out. Peeing, yeah. They peeing on people's sons. And they, and they, they thinking that they acting like. It's, a, yeah. it's not a talent. Right, right, right. Yeah. And I don't like it. And I, don't, I mean, honest, I don't like it. I don't like peeing in the corner. I kind of like it. What? What? Yeah, I kind of like. I'm that must in, be some. That must be some. That must be some. I'm into shit yeah. like that. Bro. Really? Yeah. That's Caribbean stuff, right there. No, nah, that's not Caribbean at all. Because uh, straight New York. Yeah, that's some, New York shit. That's yeah. some old. I adapted a lot of American culture. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I could tell you a story about a <laughs> about a comedian that. Okay. He's super nasty. Oh, I, I was a lot of comedians. I ain't know shit. Yeah, I didn't know that y'all was like that. Y'all, you a comedian, brother. Yeah, I don't, mean. Don't back but, out now, nigga. You, you, run the, you run the red lights. Now you gonna back up. I didn't don't say I run red lights. I oh, never said have, I run okay, red lights. Okay. I didn't say that. I okay. asked you if you do. Uh, okay. Do you? Uh, okay. I don't like red lights. All right, all right. I'll all right. wait. All right. I'm not on your chest, though. Hell no. Nah. But, um, but, um. Uh, but, you drive, but you drive through mud. <laughs> Man, I run no red light, but then, okay, when it's construction, the muddy construction, you. I don't know if I should right. tell this story. It was. Uh, go ahead. <laughs> you ain't gonna tell you who it is, but who, what is it? You want me to tell you? Yeah, just tell, tell you. me. I don't care. It was, uh, it, was, it was Stanton Harris. I don't know who that is. You don't know Stanton Harris? No, yeah. New York comic or something? Stanton Harris was in the, in the, uh, in the uh, Sprinter. With, with with Tracy Morgan. Oh, that happened. Okay. When when he got in the the, right. uh, the accident. Right. Right. Okay. Right. So um, they hired us to do sandals in Jamaica. Okay. Nice. Uh, it was me, him, and I forgot the other guy's name. However, a white dude though. Um, oh. Yeah. Um, we had a good time. Okay. But he was into some shit that was very weird, and he did it in Jamaica, and it was w- very weird. Like, you into sp- you into women spitting in your mouth? No, 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 sir. No, sir. No, no, no sir. <laughs> oh, you a germaphobe. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'm, I'm spitting. Come on, man. You let, your, you let your woman eat off your fork? Oh. oh. All right, let's say, let's say you went on a trip and your, your wife or your girlfriend forgot, forgot her toothbrush. Would you let her use yours? Boy, you rough on me, Amy. You rough on me. You rough on me. You're a mofo, bro. I'm I would go downstairs first and ask. I'm trying to see where you at with it. I'm okay, trying to see where you at with it. Okay, I'm going to first ask if they got it, okay? If they got the toothpaste down if, in there. If they, they don't got no more yeah, toothbrush. Yeah. And she like, can I use your toothbrush, babe? You're not going to let her use it? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, oh, boy. Yes, I would. Fuck it, I would. You're not. You're not yeah, using it. No, you're not. That's a yeah, whole lie. Yeah, you're yeah, lying. Yeah, yeah. She got, she got to have a right mouth, though. Yeah, I can't, no What do you mean a right mouth? Some, some women kill when they got that brown tooth in the back of missing and shit. 
They got the Louis Vuitton bag. Yeah, the yeah, back. they got the Louis Vuitton bag, but not the tooth and shit back there, man. So, so that part I don't know, but uh, whew, and it depends on what she do to me. You know what I'm saying? If she go all the way out, then baby, I don't know about that toothbrush. Wow. Okay? So if she eat ass, you ain't gonna let her use your toothbrush? Okay, it, okay, no. It's your ass. Uh, nigga, but I, and, <laughs> okay, since we talking about that, if your girl eat your ass, can she give you a kiss? Oh, you are nasty. You are, you are, you are a recruit. You Jamaican, nigga, okay? No, you Haitian. <laughs> I heard about you Haitians. <laughs> Why you want to so kiss me? Why you want to so, have to so, lick an so, ass? Why so, you lick ass want to kiss? So you telling me if, yeah. your, if your girl give you head and come back up for a kiss, you not kissing her? Head is different. Come What's on. the difference? Nigga, you don't know the difference between asshole and dick. <laughs> no, 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 you crazy. I don't know if you know what comes out of between both of them. That's huh? pee, bro. I'll That's take a, urine. I'll, I'll take a golden shower in a dookie dunk. Okay. Okay? Let's do that. Okay? I'm not about to lick no so you, ass. So you got different... I'm a real nigga. I don't even lick you stamps, You got levels to your, to your... Okay? You do what? I don't even lick stamps, motherfucker. So I know I ain't licking no ass. You don't eat pussy? Let me tell you, my ass or pussy now? No, you say you don't mix stamps, so I'm like, wait. Well, well, I mean, when it comes to ass and shit. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I bypass ass. You don't, you don't, you ain't with the ass gang. Licking it? Yeah. No, 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 son. <laughs> I'm not licking a nine volt battery, New York, nigga. Shit, nah, okay? son. <laughs> shit. I, you know what? I'm gonna tell you this. All right, all right, you got me. You ate ass before, right, though. No, well, not on purpose. Uh, by default. Mm. Well, maybe it was, it was dark and she lifted up and shit. Because well, like, she kept hey, like nah, like, like, on going like this. Yeah, yeah, no, man. No, no. I turned Jamaica. What you doing there? Why you go up like that? Okay, Bring it I down. Know. Bring it down like that. <laughs> I would say this. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be real here. If it was my birth, you know, if it was her birthday, my wife, mm -hmm. I mean my wife, mm -hmm. it was her birthday, mm -hmm. and she's coming out of a boiling pot of water. I'm talking about like a lobster, <laughs> motherfucker. And when she dry off, I want to hit a towel between the legs and say, eh, eh, and yeah. we got some boysenberry jelly from the Himalayas. Boysenberry jelly. It got to be special jelly. <laughs> I might do it then. But just off the rip, because she cute in the club? No, sir, nigga. Wow. No, sir. Yeah, well, that, no, sir. I mean, so, so this is the thing, right? Nowadays, She's a nasty motherfucker. Now, nowadays. Yeah, okay. In the society we live in. Okay. That has became an opening line. What do you mean? Dudes is walking up to women in clubs today. That's the opening line. Yo, girl, I'll eat your ass. Ooh. Queen? I would love for you, you to sit before? on my face. Damn. Tia? That's the opening line. Before? This is what I'm trying to tell you. This is the this is the competition that we up against. Yeah, they winning. As a non-ass eater, <laughs> you. you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. It's hard. You understand what I'm saying? Because you got dudes walking up to women like, oh man, I'll drink your bath water, girl. Damn, you could pee on me all day. Oh, wait. Damn, I'll eat your ass from the back. Mm. All this craziness. Mm. Here's my motto. If you can beat it up, you ain't got to eat it up. That's bullshit. Uh, no, for you, okay? No, I'm telling you. Because you ain't bullshit. reaching far back enough. There's a part back in the woman that she don't give a fuck about nothing else. Yeah, because when a you get back there, there's a little nigga in there. Right, right. right. Well, I've gotten them. You might not have them. Okay? <laughs> so maybe you might have worked on something, okay? That, no, I'll have no issues with that. Okay, well, at I hate all. it. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> so any, you might have any, bullshit. Any, any extra uh, <laughs> right. curricular behaviors that I get, I'm doing is straight by preference. That's hilarious. Speaking of speaking of all that craziness, you had a thing called toxic as fuck. Yes. It's How'd you a, come up with that? It's a card game. Yeah. How'd you come up with that? Um, because that's the that's the that's the era we living in right now. Everything is toxic right now. Niggas is learning new words and 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 using words like, oh, you're a narcissist. Oh, you're uh, yeah, gaslighting. Yeah. Oh, you're, this is the new. I, all I know, I don't know about that. All I know is you a piece of shit back in the day. I heard that. You know what I'm saying? Bitch ass nigga. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so I don't know now. It's cool to use all the new words that people just learned and understood what the definition of it is now. You know what I'm saying? And and, and us being toxic, you got to understand. Around back in the days, '90s, Freak Nick era, all of that shit, we didn't know what the hell toxic was. It was either you was a whore, or you was a fuck nigga, or you, this was just how relationships were. Real shit. You got to think about it. If you in your, if you in your, let's say third. Late 30s, early 40s, and up, right? You got to understand that everything that we were taught, they're now telling us that all of that was wrong. They're telling mm -hmm. us to erase all of that now. Mm -hmm. This is what we're dealing with right now, as far as society is concerned. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Don't pray in school. You don't, n nothing about God. Oh, this is that. This is. So, how do we function as the older OGs? In, the, in, in society today when they're telling you that everything you've learned is, is, is wrong. Okay. So today, 
toxic, being toxic as fuck is, is, is a thing. Right. It's a thing because now we know the difference between what healthy relationships are and what is not. Right. You know what I'm saying? Back right. in the days, your father could have had a whole damn family in another right. state. Right. Yeah. Shit. Or yeah. down the block. Down, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that was just life. Right. You know what I'm right. saying? Now right. we understand what co- what toxic is. So I, this, me, and, me and my partner decided that we're going to create a card game, which we can ma- mm-hmm. have fun with the toxicity. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and put toxic scenarios mm-hmm. on the card. And... That is gonna def- def- that is gonna let you know if you're toxic. Or not. Right, right. That's good stuff. You know what I'm saying. Speaking of, and we ain't gonna get into details. You said mm-hmm. toxic relationship. Mm-hmm. You recently had a little bump in the road in your mm-hmm. career. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Here out here in Georgia, y'all can mm-hmm. look it up. Google, mm-hmm. Google it. Did you think after that that your career might be over? You know, that was a, you know, you know, it's newsworthy. Um, it got out. Um, my faith in God mm-hmm. leads me to not believe nothing but what comes from the scriptures. Okay. Right? Um, and even giving light to that subject mm-hmm. is something that I'm not even into because mm-hmm. I don't even need to, 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 to speak on that because I was that person or that, that situation was on my coattail. Okay. I gave life to that. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I, I, I believe that, you know, you, 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 I, I know what the truth is and I know what could have been, but I know what God promised me. Okay. So I just leave it at that. Okay. I, I respect that. I you know respect I mean? that. Um, so I hear you're involved in other uh, ventures outside of comedy. Mm-hmm. You know, you got the boss, B O S S. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Run, run that, explain a little, a little bit about that because I'm not really 100%. So I'm doing, I'm, I got a lot of things going on, man. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, you're mm-hmm. Caribbean, man. Yeah. Many jobs, many jobs, man. Yeah, 15 jobs. Right, right, 15 jobs. You know right, right. I got a lot of things happening, man. I'm, 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 so we actually, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm doing movies. Okay. Uh, we actually just filmed uh, Shot This Two. Really? Shot This Two? Yeah. That movie was popular, me, man. Yeah, very. Me, really me, popular. Me and Dope. Kimani Marley, we filmed it. Um, P- Paul Campbell is in it as well. Okay. Um, Did y'all shoot that back over there? In, uh, over in there? Florida. In the Florida. I mean, yeah. that, that, it, that. It's not called Shot This Two, though. Oh, you know, for yeah. rights reasons and all that dumb ass stuff. I get it. I get Absolutely. that. Yeah. So the name of the movie is called Vendetta. Vendetta, okay. Yeah, so, you know, okay. the storyline behind it is sick and all of that. Um, so. and, who, do you, uh, who do you play in that movie? What do you, what do you play in that movie? I'm, I'm, I'm actually, all right, so you know, if you've seen the movie, Kimani Marley was like one of the top bosses. Boss of the, okay. I'm his second. Right hand man. Yeah, okay. his right, okay. right, right. Oh, his nice. right okay, hand cool, man. So, cool. Okay. You know, so I, got, I mean, I'm doing a lot of things. I'm touring right now. Right, right, you know. right. What I want to say about that is you're selling out too, brother. Right. Them tickets are selling, brother. Right. And that's and that's what I'm trying to show you, right? Even touching on the topic right. that you just talked Report about. Report that right. People know the truth. There you go. People ain't stupid. Uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. If 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 it was even an issue, right? I wouldn't be doing that's as nice. successful right. as as I am right now. Right, right, right. Okay. I so, I, I, I I deal with that. I'm, yeah. I mess with that. Yeah, I like. Um, so, is there any? Because I, I see a lot of. Would you? Am I correct? A lot of Caribbean people come see you. I have a very diverse crowd. Really? Absolutely. I have All a right. very diverse crowd. You have to understand, one of the things that make me stand out from the rest of the Caribbean com- c- comics okay. is that I speak like this. Right, right. No one to write. A right, lot right, of them right. can't speak like this. A lot of them have a strong accent and can't change their accent. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, I, and, I, and I gravitate to not just only Jamaican culture, but the whole entire Caribbean. Okay. And also... I've created characters such as Bobby Buns. Come on. And what's her name? And those are American based characters. Right. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you know, you 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 gotta you gotta you gotta target what you wanna be. Right. You know what I'm saying? So right. um even for example, we just got back from Miami. We just did five shows in, in, in uh Packed out, I saw it. In, in improv, live. Miami yes, improv. Yes. Coming back, we I'm in the I'm in the airport and this dude from Miami, not Caribbean at all. It was like, yo, you that dude that be doing that? You know, I get that a lot because, you know, it it, it, it spills over into regular culture right, exactly. as well and, and mainstream culture as well. So, you know, um, that's one of the things that I'm proud of my, my, right. my comedy for as well. The fact that it's relatable to everybody. It's not, you, right. you don't come to a major hype show and just feel like, oh, I'm, like, I'm being left out because it's only Caribbean based. Okay. 
Okay, okay, good, good. Because I, I didn't, I didn't know. Because right. you got so many characters. I look at some of them. I was like, yeah. Winfield Williams, you know, that proper yeah, ass. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> the bounty killer, five star general. You know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes you play a women, you know, women characters. So those, so those co- characters are all are, are actually real people. Those are impersonations. Really? <laughs> Excuse me. Wow. Yeah, bounty killer is a is, is an artist. Well, a rapper. I was wondering that. The, the, uh, yeah. The yeah, Jamaican the artist, artist, the Jamaican right, artist. Right, right. When I heard that, I was like, okay. Winfrey okay. Williams is is the, let's say the uh, the the the, uh, the TMZ of of right. Jamaica. Of Jamaica. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Really? So okay. those were impersonations and stuff like that. But okay. the, the the characters that I've made up is like right. Grandpa James, the Ross, right. Bobby Buns, Mitzi with a Z. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's her name? You know. And the list goes on, but you know those are create creative uh, characters. Right, right, know? right. Um, what I did, like I said, I saw some of your because when I first watched it for a while, I said, okay, he does a lot of Caribbean right. stuff. Uh, but then I saw you threw in some regular talk, some New York, you mm-hmm. know, New York cat. Mm-hmm. A lot of times I, I piss Buster Rhymes off with that. Really? Yeah, because he'd be talking to me, and I'd be talking back to him in his own. Right. Voice. He'd be like, yo, I respect you, King. I'd be like, I respect you too, King. That's He'd hilarious. be like, yo, stop doing that. I'd be like, chill. <laughs> That's funny. You know what I'm we going back That's and forth. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> what I was going to say, too. And you keep it so black, you even got a, a white man with a mask on oh, that's black on it. Damn, absolutely. you don't even put a white character, man. Absolutely. You, you, got, you want to hire a white st- person. Listen. Ooh, listen. You, I got a, you I racist. Got a, <laughs> not racist. Nah, no. I invest in my co- I, right, I invest right, in my right, career. Right there you go. You know what I'm saying um, I even have a, a, a Latino uh, character called mm-hmm. Hector. You know what I'm Hector, saying? Right, where, right, where, right. Where, where I, I feel like comedy has to be relatable to the person or the audience that you're trying to capture, mm-hmm. right? So yeah, I may have some people, some Latino people that likes Mitzi or might like this other right. character, but they want to feel like they part of it too. So I created this character called Hector, you know? I don't have right. a problem with nobody. Right, I just right. don't, you know, I just wanted the culo and the dinero, that's right. it. <laughs> right, right, so right. They can relate to that, right, you know sure, what I'm saying? Sure. So, you know, sure. relatable comedy is always the best. I know what you're going to say, so let me see. <laughs> I see where you play it a lot of times, but does that work in Dallas? Would it work in New Mexico comedy club? Absolutely, absolutely. Cause you are very heavy now. So, all right, so 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 so, <laughs> so so I'm signed with Gersh Agency. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Gersh Agency, you, I, I know you're familiar with, with Gersh. Mm-hmm. Um, they when they put me on runs, they put me on runs where there's no Caribbean people. Really? Yes. Like, like it might be five Caribbean people that live in that whole city. In Arkansas, <laughs> yeah, okay. you know what I'm Dang, saying. Okay. All right. So, 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 and 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 it's good for me because, like I said, my comedy is relatable comedy. Sure. Right. And if I'm telling you a story about how I was raised as a Caribbean child, it's cool. You know what I'm saying. Right, I'm just sure, referencing sure. certain things to you, so it, it's something that you could relate to, you know, and and still be a part of the show. You know what okay. I mean? Right. No, I get so, that. So, so, um, I I've been in I've been in in comedy clubs where I'm like, wait, this there's no Caribbean people in here. Like right. there's a bunch of Spanish people and a bunch of white people like Well Spanish is a little, you know, that works more Caribbean. Mm, you don't think so? No. Papi, they you know, they speak, no. yeah, come on. The bodego jokes and all that. Bodego jokes. When, and when you talk about the Caribbean, we often leave out Cuba and Dominican Republic. Oh wow. <laughs> and, well, and and the reason why we do yeah. that is because they're in a they they put themselves in a class by themselves. I, I'm gonna tell you what I didn't realize until my Eight nine years ago, how dumb I didn't know Haiti and the Dominican Republic is on the same island. Absolutely, it has a line between Espanola. The white folks will help, you know, Americans help Dominican opposed to um, Haitian, and I see why they don't, you know, have Absolutely. a problem. Absolutely, I didn't know it was the same. I thought it was two totally different islands. Island. The, the, same the, island. The island is called Espanola. Oh, that's what. They, okay, yes, Espanola. That's the wow. name of the the whole right. entire island right. itself. And that's kind of why Haitians don't kind of like the Dominicans because well, Americans support them and they don't well, think they're better that, than that, them. Well, that goes with that, that. That that's a part of the whole colorism thing. Yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? You right. light skin, you, right. you know, you come with this black picky head type of, you know, we don't want you over here wow. type of shit. Yeah, yeah so. That's, 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 that's crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. And that was my ultimate goal to unify not just, you know, the Caribbean, but the, the, to, to, to unify all of us. Like, I, I hate to hear American people say, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm black. And, it, and it's like, you're a Caribbean, but I'm black. So what do you think I am? I'm, I'm black too. You know what I'm saying? Okay. No, but you're Caribbean. But they think of black There's American, no right? But so in a black American and a black Caribbean? No. What oh, is why the difference? Why is it not different? 
Caribbean. You just told me what, just what you eat, what your, your lifestyle, how you grew up. There's That's no the difference in that, bro. Black is black. No, 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 no. Okay, I gotta turn this off. No, no. There's a difference. It's a difference. What's you the difference? I just told you the, your mindset. The people's grown the up. Culture may be different. Okay, that, that's but major. But the melanin stays the same, okay, brother. Okay, I get that. Okay. So, so this is what I'm telling you. All right. So for example, if you ask somebody that, let's say, they have a Haitian mother mm -hmm. and a Dominican father, right? Okay. They'd be like, "Yeah, I'm black and Dominican." Oh wow. Okay. Well, no, no. This that, is what I'm trying it. to tell you. Right, this right. is that what we dumb. hear. Okay. Right? I'm black and Jamaican. What do you mean you black and Jamaican? Yeah, my mother from Atlanta, part. but okay. my father's Jamaican. No, you're black. There's no, there's no separate, and this is the, this is why. You can't say I'm Jamaican? You can say I'm Jamaican? What are you? I'm Jamaican. You're I black. can tell you black. I can tell you black. Right. But what can I, what can I reference my, this my is, culture? You can. Right. You say, what are I you? I have no problem I'm with Jamaican. that. But don't tell me you Jamaican and black. What is Jamaican and black? Jamaican and black means you're there's, black, black. But no, there's white Jamaicans. Of course there is. They, are they black? No. So what they say? What they because call that's a say? skin complex. You talking about pigmentation compared to melanin, bro? You talk. Okay. You talk School about me, bro. Different. School me, because I, I don't care where you from. If you're melanated, you're black. That's what I'm telling you. I don't care if you're from Africa, America, Arkansas, Jamaica. I don't care where you're from. If you're melanated, you're black, fam. I'm black. A little bit. Oh man, damn! <laughs> oh, do you put on sunblock? <laughs> you yeah. put on sunblock? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, okay, I do. so you black? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Woo. All this time I was thinking, I wasn't sure what the hell I was, man. Man, that is that is funny. This That's is funny. the reason why they always got the upper hand on us. Okay. Because we are so quick to segregate ourselves. Right. 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 When they don't give a shit if you from white is white, bro. White is white. They don't care if you're European. They don't care if you from the States. They don't care if you're Canadian. White is white, bro. We the only people who always got to segregate ourselves. We always got to differentiate where we're from and this and that. And, oh, I'm not riding with that because I'm not that, but I'm this. No. Unity is strength and strength is in numbers, bro. And that's the only way we're going we gonna to ever be able to, to have a voice. You know what I'm saying? And that's just how I look, that's how I look at it. I don't believe in that, that segregation shit. Okay. I'm, I'm, about to, I'm, I'm playing a game with you real quick. I play with some other people. I'm going to see what you do. All right. It's mm -hmm. called, y'all ready? Y'all know I'm about to play with them. It's hoish or broish. okay? So oh. what it is is when I tell you this, when mm -hmm. I say what I say, the first thing comes to your mind. Hoish or broish? Is it hoish to do this or broish to do this? You cannot sit there and think for five minutes. Okay. Okay. I mean, whatever your soul feel. Okay. Okay? And I'm talking about people over 25. So okay. men over okay. 25. Okay. So no young boys, 16, yeah, yeah, 18, 19. Yeah, yeah. We're talking about grown ass men. All right. Is it hoish? According to society. To you. According to society. To the, you. <laughs> According to you. I want to know what you think. Okay. okay? <laughs> and I need it quick now. All right. I don't need you to be sitting here thinking about it. Let's go. All right, here we go. Let's go with uh, split toe sandals. Wearing split toe sandals. Hoish. Oh, damn. I gotta throw my shit away then. I gotta go home and do it. Damn. All right. Um, let me go another one. All right. Okay, you ready? Skinny jeans. Always. Oh, damn. You're you on a whole trip right now. Shit, okay. Okay. Eating a pizza with a knife and fork. Whole wish. Oh, shit. You got, you, I'm from New York. Are you word, done? We word. fold our pizza. Damn. Damn. Eat it hot and no. all. <laughs> okay, okay. Letting a woman pay on the first date. Whole wish. Damn, how is, why does she got money? She won't take you out That's, the first time. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm not that. I'm not that guy, man. Shit. I'm not saying. I'm not saying that a woman can't pay, but on the first date. You heard what I said. You do that. I mean, hey, she got the money, huh? Damn you, hoish, yeah, bro. Hoish <laughs> broke you, down. You a thought, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I mean, I thought about it for a second. I thought about that shit for a second. All right, enjoying a concert and screaming though at the concert. That's hoish. Jay -Z, nigga, yo, Jay -Z, screaming? Yo. You said screaming. screaming. You ain't say, you, you ain't say <laughs> okay. like, yeah. You said screaming like, ah, Jay-Z, you kidding me? No, see, oh, you doing a little extra now. All that, next. I ain't say all that. When I hear scream, I think uh, uh, woman. Okay, all right, all right. When I hear yell, I hear man. Right. So scream is harsh. All right, this is all over, including booty hole. You ready? Hold on, I know, I know. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Excuse me? Hold on, hold on. Manscaping. Broish. Bro, really? I ain't all that, that, bro, that, that. bro. Ooh, we, what? Really? Are you dumb? 
I don't know. I'm just saying. Are you dumb? Your, I don't your know. joint's supposed to. Come on. Right. Come on, man. I don't know, man. Who the hell? Yeah. Come on now. All right, okay. Wearing pink is a dominant color. Always. Wow. A lot of, a lot of them Caribbeans wear, wear that pink, Caribbean men. Yeah, wear a lot I of wear pink. pink, though. So you a hoe ass nigga? Hoe ass nigga? I ain't hoeish, but I mean, nigga, we like live me. in a society. Hoish. You a thought, we, motherfucker. How about that? Okay, now you a thought. Walking around like a Pepto Bismol <laughs> bottle. I mean, come on now. All right, all right. I got a couple more. Let me see where you. Okay, okay. When. Just going out on it, just going out, your girlfriend, just going out, mm. movies, go mm. to the mall, mm. y'all dress alike. That's hoish, bro. Well, God damn, you get, get that's with it. corny to me, bro. Ooh, ooh that's hoish. Ah, that, I don't like that. Uh, damn, yeah, son, because you going... both can't have Steeler shirt on and some jeans on, little with... Timberlands, no. you got her Tim, you got no. your Tim? No. No? Nah. Damn, boy, you rough nah. out here, boy. You, you, nah. you Caribbean men or something else, We're not doing that. No, no, okay. I got my drawer, you got your drawer. Put on what you like. We could wear the same color, but we're not wearing the same outfit. Damn. Damn. I, I'm just, I'm going to do two more. Hang on. I'm going to ask you, okay? I mean, crossing your legs when you sit. Like that? Motherfucker, right. Don't do it, nigga. Don't do it. You're on my show, nigga. You're on my show, homie. I want this, I want this episode to air, so bro -ish. That's bro -ish. I fuck. Come on. That's, uh, gentlemen do that. Gentlemen wear that. No, I got an uh, uncle who man. used to sit like that. Yeah, nigga. We, we was wondering about it, but... Really? But he anyway. was but he was official, right? He was still official. Uh, uh, official fish or official? Official. Your uncle was official. Oh, uh, yeah, he was. He wasn't a was he? We trying to figure it out still. Why, still? Just because of leg crossing? <laughs> oh, you're terrible, man. You're terrible, man. All right, Could you, man. Could you undo that? No, I ain't going to undo that. No, undo we that until we finish, please. We, 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this nigga here, nigga. Yeah. Damn, I'm doing until I finish it. <laughs> it's fucking with you, man. <laughs> yeah, that's bothering okay, me. Uh, okay, this man, right here that. is bothering nah, me. Nah, man, that's rich, that's rich man shit. That's rich man yeah, shit. Yeah, okay, rich uh, man do that. You too flexible. Me. Come on, let's go. Easy with that. Easy with that. <laughs> Damn, I'm too flexible. All right. Whew, yeah, okay, last one. These streets are real. One is uh, FaceTime your homie. Have a conversation. Have a that's broish. Why y'all say that's, that's gay? Bro no, that's bro. not. Nigga. I don't even see what you look like, nigga. I see, see what you look you like. See, you Yo, see, how you doing? Y'all both of you, you be on the couch, oh, you be on the myth, couch at home. You be like, what you up to, nigga? Yo, there's a myth what you doing? That, no, that, yeah, I don't know nobody. Okay. I don't know nobody. You all like this? What y'all been doing, man? That what you working on? That type of FaceTime in here. What you working on? What you doing, man? No, that's not it. Come on, son. So there's a myth in the streets. Okay. The myth in the streets is that government officials, or you know. Uh, law enforcement, okay. they can tap your phone via conversation, straight line, but they can't tap it FaceTime. That's the myth. I heard about that. I think I just really so heard a lot that. Of, so a lot of times when we speak on, right. on FaceTime is because we feel like, yeah, certain things we can't talk about. That's your excuse? I, I don't know. That's your excuse? Hey. Okay. And a lot, first of all, I don't like putting the phone to my face anyway. Wait, do you feel like this? You mean? I don't like that. Okay, well, then wear headphones or whatever. I get that. I ain't with it. Nah, we're not going to do the. You, you see. Headphones? You're headphones? in a different weight class. Like, when, okay. I, when I say weight class, I mean like your age. Okay, how do you, you talk? You on got a Bluetooth? Then? Yeah, I got Bluetooth. What kind of Bluetooth you got? One of them long joints with the, no. with the, with the microphone cut, in the front? Can we cut now? We got to cut this goddamn show, man. What's well, you got you, AirPods. Right? What's you got AirPods? You got, you don't I'm got afraid AirPods. to tell you, nigga. I you don't got your bro. Hold your bro. I got You got the joint with the mic in the front. Don't do me like that. Don't do me that. Don't do me like that. What, what, what do you call them people at, at that the job? That, what, you that? got them niggas that be walking huh? back and forth pacing. Oh, hey, girl, no. you can hear me now. Customer service and shit. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. Know, I know. Hell no. I got the AirPods. I got the other one. I got the big joint from uh, Apple, the big joint. I know joints. you got the joint. The, the, don't do me like that, man. Don't that, do me like that, that man. That blink in your ear. Nah, son, don't do me like that. <laughs> Tap it over here. Bink, bink. What's up, man? Get the hell out of here with that bullshit. All right? You crazy all out there. You know, we don't do that, man. We don't do that. Okay, well, all right. What we do around here is we do a thing called IG creeping. Okay. That means my crew goes to your IG, look at some stuff, mm -hmm. and put up some shit, and you got to talk about it. We want to see what it is. Okay. I don't know what it is myself. I, I, listen, you, you ready? Your official, so what you put on is what you put on. I don't, yeah, absolutely. All right, so let me look at this. Okay, so mm -hmm. we want to know what you was thinking about. No, no, no. With this right here. Okay. Wow, y'all went nigga? back. Yes, yes. Y'all went further. Yeah, to the caveman days, obviously. Okay. <laughs> that's the first roster ever. So that's 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 my character. All right, I see Called them. the Ross. Mm hmm I was actually filming the movie that day. The one you just did, uh, shot, shot no. out the vent. Okay. No, I was filming an a, a independent movie called Foreign Minds Think Alike. Okay. And we we was doing a, a, a scene in this beef patty store, but that's not a beef patty. That's a that's a a, a, I don't know. 
a soy patty. Oh, okay. Because, you know, rosters don't eat meat. Oh, okay, okay. You know do, you, do you eat meat? Do I eat meat? Yeah. You know you want to lie. We had to repeat the question. Do I, you heard what I said. Do I eat meat? You heard what I said. Yeah, I'm English. I eat, I eat oh, yeah. Meat. You try to think. No, for the, no you got to understand. You, you got to understand. Yeah, okay. You got to understand. That's Hoish, nigga. That's Hoish. There's a lot of people Russia. watching this right yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. So they're going to be like, in, eat meat. Because meat is also a reference to, you know, your, your, your skin flu. Really? Yeah. What do you mean reference to that? I mean, I mean. It, it bothers you if you eat meat. It'll bother, what are you reference? Just the fact that you're saying meat. meat. The word meat. All right, all right. The all word right, meat yeah. is also reference to your skin flu. This is coming from a nigga who lick ass. You worrying about that? I never told you I lick ass. Do you eat ass? You eat ass? I never told you I lick ass. I saw somebody come in here with you today. You I never ass, told nigga. you I lick ass. I want you blame me for that, nigga. Okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. I, I saw who you brought with you. Okay. All right. You're gonna illegal ass tonight. Okay. <laughs> if you don't start it, okay. All right. So <laughs> this is uh <laughs> right, get like that. All right, let's go to the next one. Yeah. All right, we got that. All right. Mm -hmm. Ooh, wait, what is what is wow. what is it? Well, damn, brother. You want me to tell you where I was at? Yeah, you was there. Wow. I was at Safari and Erica Mena's wedding. Really? Nice. You see how that turned out? Yeah, because it didn't turn out that way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wasted that tux. Wow. No, no, but that's where I was at. Um, you look totally different, man, from what I've seen you, yeah. You, you rock a beard all that. You ain't got no beard there, right? No beard no, no, there, no, no. right? You ain't no mustache. You look like a white man, bro. Why you do that, man? Why you look like a white man? I was man? trying to get a deal that night. Oh, okay. I was trying to make it to Love & Hip Hop that night. Oh, really? They, was, they filmed they, they wedding. And you thought keeping your face clean I, would get that? You, you know, you should, you know. No, I don't know. You, what you mean you don't know? I don't you know. know that you can film anything you want. Doesn't mean you're gonna make it to the screen. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying about that part, yeah. So I was all in the camera that day. When I saw the episode, I wasn't on it. You was you was trying to fit in big time. No, and I fit in, because I'm a clean off, and this nah, is how I do. You, you this is how most. I do on any given day. You had day. your tap dance shoes. You was any given day, I, you know, those was them Stacey Adams. That's some Stacey Adams. I can believe right that. You know what I'm saying? And this right and here came from- Don't um, you ever get that? I want, I want that look. That's when you look? go next time. That, that, that's cool, but that's, that's, that's you like white. that? I had a mohawk. That's that's, yeah, that's cool, but the mustache. I don't know. Brothers don't wear mustache. I had a mustache. The barber effed it up. Damn, really? Yeah, it, it was thin because <laughs> he kept on messing it up, so right, it got real right. thin. So it looked like I don't got no mustache, but I actually did. Oh, okay. But, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, let's go. To one. Let's go to another one. <laughs> Ooh wee! That was in Atlanta. Ooh wee! I know exactly where you. Were. I know what comedy club that was. That was in Atlanta, boy. Look at you, boy. That's when they that's when they started calling me the king of Caribbean comedy. Yeah. I had to go get a, a crown from Party City. Right behind you. <laughs> yeah, we, we found one right there. Wolfie the doggy got the oh, same one behind. Yeah, yeah, nigga, yeah. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. Best. Yeah. yeah. Nah, but that's look at you clean, crowned, boy. That's when they crowned me. I can see that. That wasn't even my blazer. It was a little small. If you I, can, I can see that. I ain't gonna say nothing, bro. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see the wrist? Uh, uh, so your bro, wearing small, you know. Yeah. I ain't have a full black shirt, so they they, you know. It was Right. I was broke. He was broke I then. was broke then. Okay, all right. I was all definitely right. broke. Well, well, we're gonna skip on that. Well, that's well, well, I appreciate that. All right, real quick, we got a couple things we do. We do a thing called spin the wheel, okay, up uh -oh. here. It's my crew. Uh -oh. And there's certain things that land on you got to talk about it. And I know you're uh -oh. talking about talking about talking the kind of guy. One is okay. tell us how you uh, lost your virginity. You can do that. Wow. Just two minutes, you know, tell I know it's a wild story, I'm quite sure. Been back then. Um, a celebrity crush call, we do a thing called see how your acting is. If it falls on that, you gotta pick the you to tell your cell phone. You got two minutes to, or a minute and a half to two minutes to talk to a celebrity. You got to tell who it is, make it up, I'm not and good I want to see that. your macking game to I'm get her to come to your house. Or your house. You say you're an actor, bro. Come on, man. I'm not good at that. Man, then why not? It's just acting. I'm, I'm shy. Here, after what you just told us, <laughs> get something off your chest. You so you, you do you spin it or I got? No, you spin it. it. It's all oh. it's all on you, brother. Okay. And then who you trade places with and why? Um, give us a real secret. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you can get us uh, something you want to get off your chest. You can do the biggest lie you ever told. So anything you said in the last 70 minutes, you can repeat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> who, who you trade places with and why. That right there. And um, let me see. That's it. You know, so spin this sucker and let's see where it lands. Give him a roll call. Give him a, 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 a roll call. Spin that. See where it lands at, brother. Come on, brother. Get, get that Caribbean spin. Get that Caribbean spin, man. Where is going to land that, man? Where does it land? I knew it was going to. Celebrity crush call. Come on. Bro. Just you my actor. luck. You an actor, man. You ain't got to be real. I want to see. I'm a director. I want to see what you can do. I want to see, you pick the phone up, you say, hey, whoever, whoever you want to make it. Let's spin it again. This nigga, this nigga. Let's spin it one more time. If it falls on it again. If it falls on it again, then it. I know this shit is rigged. No, you got to do it again. <laughs> you got to do it again. I don't know. All right, so spin it. And let's see what it's going to turn out to be. Let's go. Boom. 
I swear I feel like... That's... So let me... Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, son. Is it because you, you, you got folks here? Is that what it is? You're an actor. I just want to see what you do. <laughs> this nigga here. All right. How you... Oh, oh, it landed on how you, you lost your virginity. Can you tell us that? <laughs> you switched it. Shit. <laughs> okay, can you tell your fans how major yeah, I lost I'm not good at virginity? talking. Let me, so let me tell you why I don't want to do that one first. Which one? The first the, one? The celebrity one. Okay. I'm not good at speaking to people. Like, I'm not the dude with the game and the this and the that. I'm not, I'm not that guy. Yeah, okay, all right. So if you were an actor, you couldn't do that? Someone said, you know what? I, I got a movie for you. I want to see what, how you do a roll call. Let me see what you do. He's yeah. like, no, nah, don't give me that part. Yeah. Man, you got to get in this business for real. You bullshit. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, you got what is, how you lost your virginity? Can you tell us that real quick in a minute and a half? I lost my virginity in, in Trinidad. Explain to me, how and old were you? And Trinidad and Tobago. How old were you? I was eight. Hold on, I said your virginity, nigga, not yeah, your that's toys. what I said. <laughs> eight! I was, I was eight, she was 14. So, Ooh, so, if you, so if you ask most Caribbean men, okay. they'll let you know that we was probably molested. That's what y'all right. call it. Right. But it worked for you. Yeah, we call it. So, so paint the picture. So, it, so it was, where, where were you at? Were your parents, were you in the house? Or you, no, yeah, I was, was so, so it, I don't know if you know, but like in the Caribbean, they have like outhouses. You know okay. the outhouses? Okay. It's like a, a where you go to the bathroom. It's like a porta potty, yeah. Yeah, okay, right, right. But it's sure. a, but it's a, it's a permanent porta potty. Right, right. That's where, and they be having cockroaches coming out. The thing, Damn. The who pit. was the girl? Who was the girl? Do you remember a friend of yours? Or just make it a good one. I know exactly who she was, but she was fourteen. Right. And she was from the the community. Right, right, right. Had she been trying to holler at you previously? She was what? like that thing going inside this thing. No. Yep. And she played with it till it got hard. I couldn't even nut back then. Well, of course, of course. Eight years old. <laughs> you was in for the straight. Yeah, was I was just struggle. pumping until you I know, got tired. Had you seen sex before? Did you know what to do? Or you just stood there and she no, had to move it? I didn't know what was going on. So you didn't know how to I think that sensationalized my sex life now. I think that's mean? why I'm the way I am now. What's that mean? You're sensitive or something? What do you mean sensitive? No. What, what, okay, what do you mean? Sensitive. Okay, I don't know what you're saying. So you, I'm a boss when it comes to that right now. This nigga, yeah. This they call nigga. me Slick Dick the Ruler. <laughs> Slick Dick. <laughs> Okay, all right. So she helped you start that off, kickstart yeah, the game. Got, she, yeah, yeah, she, Damn. She, she kicked it off. I love it, okay. And you didn't nut? Did, I'm a nut at eight. All right, okay, okay, okay. When was I, the next I had time my you, wet dream at 12. Right, well, damn. When was the next time you had sex? How old were you next time you had sex? Maybe uh, a week later? <laughs> no, but not, like, when you no, really know no. what you were doing. Um, when I know what I was doing? Well, you know what I'm saying? Like You, you knew what the dick was getting hard in the vagina, um, you were pushing in, you were back and forth, going in and out. Maybe 14. 14. Yeah, I was younger. Yeah, about yeah, 14, 14, 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. Oh, you were lucky. You got you to you care. Most of the time, it's always a family member, too. Oh, okay. Like a distant cousin. A distant cousin, yeah. yeah. You, yeah. you ever had a sex with a cousin? No, my sister, but not my cousin. Yeah, there's a little family too. Yeah, yeah I'm a, I'm a head I got a stepsister. I'm a head out. <laughs> no, I got, I got you, step through marriage. <laughs> you smashed your sister. No, I'm joking, step- man. Come on, oh, I'm joking. About this. Hell no, No, man. because, you know, you no, half no, white, no, so no, I don't no, know. No, Y'all no, be right. doing weird I, shit. I, I want my finger don't get straight. I got to come wrong. <laughs> shit. I want a tooth don't grow in. Oh, you look like this? Yeah, hell no, nah, man. Look, man. Look, nah, I'm, I'm going to give you a little something. Go away party, man. We do that. We do a little something for people, man. I have a bag, no, it's called a swag bag, but okay. we don't have it. This is all black. Oh, so I don't get stuff. the, I'm, I'm Caribbean, I yeah, so yeah, I don't yeah. get the no bag. You have your own bag, man. You have your own bag. <laughs> you have your own bag, man. Now, um, check it out. Just look at the gifts. Look at, you know what I'm saying? We, that, that, that card game is a black card game. It's a black owned company. You know what? Comedy. Yeah. Okay, so comedy instead of playing that, that white familiar. Uno, brother, you can play that game with your folks. Then that's a, that's a bandana from the same picture as this right here. It's a bandana you wrap around your, your head. Okay. You so you want me to put you on my forehead? Well, not, your lady, your fr- you have a lady friend. You have a lady friend. Yeah, you can have that. Yeah, we're not doing that. Okay. But I, well, I, I do I something it, with it. Okay. I Wax it your card. I give it to my son. Okay. So that's what I don't know if y'all can read, but uh, it says not read the really. title. Okay. Is Try to guess. Pa- is it in patois? <laughs> it is. If you can read it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's my book about the celebrities that I met. My one hundred homies and phonies of Hollywood. Oh. So. So, Ooh, so you yeah. talking about the people that was phony to you? Like Stanton was to you? <laughs> no, no, no. Whatever that nigga is. Right? Okay, shit. Okay, we name names. Okay, okay. We just like, hey, man, it was what it was back then. You know what I'm saying? My career, I met a lot of people. It's a cool book because you can go to chapter to chapter. You got to read the whole book at one time. You can go down the um, index and pick out who you want to read I like about. This. This I'm nice. about to do part two, and your ass gonna be in part two. Okay. Is this number one New York Times best sell- best teller? You like that? Come on, brother. Best Come on, you hate that, right? I'm gonna tell you about it, okay? You like that? Read it one more time. What did it say? You know, time what? 
You know New York Times best teller. There you like it. What's a teller? What's a teller? Did you just put that up there, or was you know it really I'm, the I'm, best I'm, teller? It's the best teller. I'm telling you right now, it's the best teller. Okay. So you I'm said, I'm a, wait, wait, wait. You said I'm gonna be in the next book. Right, right. Am I gonna be the From, phony or the homie? Well, you gotta read. Wow, I you can't do read. that. I can't read aloud. Well, don't worry. Somebody read it for you. I read it in my brain. Really? Somebody read it for you. You know, you know when motherfuckers read aloud, they, you, they start stumbling over words. Is that what it is? <laughs> Damn. Damn. Okay. Then you nah, got an joking. official shirt though. Everybody, that ain't no bullshit. Shirt. That is it. Look, 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 it feel good though. That's soft oh, yeah, right there. Is, Ooh, that ain't no bullshit. I'll, I'll make bullshit. Is, yeah, this is and nice. It's a large. I figure, Ooh, you know what I'm saying? This, you, people. You know, you know, you Caribbean guys wear them tight, tight shirts, man. You know, very tight. Yeah, I, this, you know, I need a medium. Damn, you need smaller than that. You need, need a medium. A, I need a medium. Come on, I'm looking at you, brother. You know, you got little guns. Don't worry about that. I need a medium. You need a medium? I get you a medium. That's what you want. Medium. No, we don't do medium. We do large or medium. What you want, brother? You want tight, medium. man? You want tight, man? In between man. small and medium. Yeah, yeah. See, that's yeah. Why you ask me for me? Why you ask me that? We don't do. <laughs> Why you don't just like take medium shirt. a lot? It's soft and good. Yeah. It ain't no cheap, nothing it's slim. Nice. It's you slim built, from, too. Uh, you got this from... Uh... No, sir. No, sir. Whatever you want to go with, no, sir. No, sir. Man, Major Hype, I really appreciate you I coming appreciate here, I appreciate you, too, man. my you, brother. You're a real cat, man. You should have given me one of the mugs. Uh, I like the mugs. Everybody want the mugs. I'm going to make some like mugs. I'm going to make some mugs official. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because when you go on the Ellen Show, you get a mug. I'm just letting you this know. This ain't Ellen Show. You ain't Ellen Show, okay? <laughs> when you get to Ellen Show, let me know about it, okay? You might be Ellen Robinson from, 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 from Old National, okay? About a swap meet over here. Ellen okay? Robinson. Yeah, maybe her. Right. But no, nah, man, you, you, you was a cool dude, man. I appreciate, I really appreciate you, brother. Let the folks know how they can reach you, man. That's your camera right Absolutely. there, Absolutely. Make sure y'all follow me on, on uh, Instagram, all social media sites, you know what I'm saying? M-A-J-A-H-H-Y-P-E. A lot of people say Maja. Spanish people say Maha. <laughs> It's all good. Call me what you want, long as you press follow and long as you enjoy the content. That's all that matters, man. You know what I'm saying? And also, um, look out for me um, in your city. I'll be there soon. Man, no wrecking shop, that. brother. That's wrecking right. shop. I saw some of the video. He's very so funny, y'all. Support play. this brother right here. Please support him, man. Um, again, a, a pleasure, man. Me, you know, I, Absolutely. I, people send me so many videos of you. I'm like, who is this? Why don't you make it? I just keep sending me. I just said, let me investigate, man. So I, I did. And I looked you, down your stuff, man. I'm like, this boy put that work in. I, I can respect you. that. And you funny on stage. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? You ain't just on some bullshit. You're doing some impressions and then oh, don't nah, do nothing nah, 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 You got nah, to. Nah, you, how many characters you do, man? A lot. 40, 50? I, I, next time I come, I'm going to tell you about uh, the, the story between uh, that. Uh, about the show in Jamaica with Mike Epps. You know what's funny about it? There will be not no next time, so tell me now. So wait, oh. here we go, bro. So I'm, not, we go. I'm not welcome back here? Well, after the story, we'll decide. <laughs> so what about you and Mike Epps real quick? Nah, what happened to the I'll show? save it for next time. But you're, a, you're a scared, you're scared. Shout out to Mike Epps, though, uh, my oh, bro. Oh, scaredy cat, scaredy shout cat, to, shout, shout out to Cedric, the yeah, entertainer yeah, yeah, as well, yeah. my bro. How, how do you say balls in, uh, in, in, in Caribbean? Balls. Get some balls, brother. <laughs> oh, Mike, get some balls. No, no, no. Mike will tell you. Mike will tell yeah, you. I don't, cool. I don't play. Man, Mike's I, my boy. I don't play when I get on that stage. And, I know that's you know, right. he, Little he, pressure. You put the pressure? He, he, oh, yeah. Come on now. Apply pressure. I, I apply right. pressure all the time. I see it. I don't play. Ooh, wee. Yeah. I, and and I, it was in Jamaica? Yeah, oh, yeah. He had no chance. Come on, man. It's Jamaica. You he had backyard. a chance because he had the upper hand. He's Mike Epps. No, no, no. I'm telling Jamaicans you. Jamaicans don't do that. They I'm want. They want. I'm telling you. First of all, he ain't do his research. He was talking about eating ass. In Jamaica. And y'all don't do that. I mean, you might do it, but not talk about it. But, um, <laughs> right, 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 right. Oh, but, yeah. Um, yeah, he went up there. He was like, I ate this girl ass. I had shit on my mustache. They was like, what? What? <laughs> I, so Jamaica is the type of place that even the person who just ate ass is right. going to boo you for saying that. Hell no, really? That's how Jamaica that's is. Funny. <laughs> so, so, yeah, he said that, and they was like, uh, no, that's not, uh. No, 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 not that. Yeah. You had to do your research. Yeah, I, I had to save the, 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 the Ex show. Explain to him what it is, tell the audience. He, he didn't do his know research. better. Yeah, right, 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 right. But, um, we had a good time overall. Sure, sure, you know sure, sure, sure. I'm not quite sure you had a ball he, with him. He, he was, you know, he was like, he was like, man, they love you out here, boy. Come I said, they love me everywhere. You there you go. There you go. Don't there put me in no box. Right, right. Come on now. Come on now. I get it, you know, but Mike, Mike's, Mike's a legend and it's their own thing. But Is he in this yeah, book? Of course he is. Oh. Go, to, go to the M's. Okay, yeah, go to the M's. That's how I break it down. I ain't messing around with that book. What side is he on? What side is he on? Read mine. 
All right. Mr. Never Louise, read. Man. Never read. Yo, man. Look, again, Major, I appreciate you coming, y'all. Absolutely. Thank y'all. Another great episode. I told y'all it was going to be funny, man. This man is <laughs> off the chain, man. I really appreciate y'all watching him, man. Please follow the brother, man. And also hit the notification bell or the subscribe button, man, or whatever the button is bell. You know what it is. Hit that, man. I thank y'all for showing me love every time I walk down the streets, man. You know, people say, yo, I love your panic room, man. I think, you know, it's just a cool thing that I can That's bring comedians on and we can talk Absolutely. and have fun. Where Some of y'all got to go on some of them shows where they're like, so how you doing? So what yeah, you doing? I like that. Yeah, fuck that. We can talk and joke and Joe and like shit. That. You know what I'm saying? I'd have walked right out of this. Moment. I know that's right. No, no, sir. No, sir. I knew. I knew who I had. I knew what the beast I had. And you won't be going uh, before me in a, in, a, in a Caribbean club. Okay? Why not? Mm -mm -mm. Why not? I have pride. Come I on, man. You, your name is Pierre, bro. Mm. You are. Well, you a legend. know what? I'll do some research. You are a legend. True that. Keep going. Keep Come on, going. now. You're a legend. legend give me your flowers now. Here you I, go. There it is, right? Damn. Okay. You're a legend. That's what we're doing, man. I'll take it, man. I give you your flowers yeah, yeah, now, yeah, boy. Yeah, damn. Okay. Come on now. But nah. You know, you know what's the best. You know what's the best part of my career. I'm gonna be honest mm -hmm. with you. The best part of my career is actually seeing people that I've once seen on Comic View mm -hmm. and Def Comedy Jam and all these, you know, big platforms sure. and, and watching people's material, and actually be able being able to work with them today. Mm -hmm. That's one of my biggest Dope. accomplishments. Right, you know what I'm right. saying? A lot of people don't know, but one of the people who brought me into this comedy game was was Rashid. Rashid, of course, yeah. Rashid Dope. brought me Shout into this game. Shout out R. I. P. Don't yeah, Dope. rest Dope. in peace to my to my mentor mm -hmm. and my mm -hmm. brother Rashid. He brought me into this game, you know right. what I'm saying? And um But you know many times they say you should meet your heroes. You know what I'm saying? Because they get Absolutely. Squat. So I'm quite sure you met some people. You're like, damn, I wish you wasn't like That's that. That's a fact. Right. That's why I never try to come off. If anybody meets me, I want you to yeah. walk away with some yeah. love. Say, man, my yeah. man's cool as hell. Absolutely. Because at the end of the day, we just people, man. I don't feel like this guy's been around longer than you. I'm better than you and exactly. all that kind of stuff. I need. No, brother, we're exactly. all in the game. We all have a good time. It's, you know, we spread love. And we, we're blessed to do what we do. Absolutely. You it's know a, what I'm saying? It's a privilege to be able to yeah. do what we do, to make people laugh, right. to change people's lives, pe people's aspect about life. Um, and also to get paid to do it. We, there you go. we travel the world. We get paid to travel. There you go. That's real. That's real. That's real. People, people got to take time off of Come work to pay for right. to, to go on vacation. And then we can say what we want on stage. You, know, you can't do that at work. You know, nah. HR be all on your ass. You're yeah. saying the wrong thing. You know what I'm saying? We can say what it was. Exactly. Yeah, but again, man, again, thank you so much, man. Like I said, I got fresh to death for you, brother. Bam. I, mean, you know, I got, I got that. Yeah, you know, I thought you was going to um, cross your knee again. No, like no, no, that. no, no. This is what y'all wear out in the sand and shit. You like that? Yeah. What? What you mean the sand? In the Caribbean. You think I'm from Yemen? <laughs> the hell There's sand where you from. I don't know. Do you know the Caribbean have sand and beaches and water? Do I know that? So back to the sand. Yeah, but you said it as if our sidewalks soccer and is made eggs. out of sand. No, you ain't from the sand. You know where you're from. You, know where you're from. you sound a little racist, yeah, man. I, I don't know I who am. I'm talking. Right, right, I'm going to talk to the black side or the white, white side. The white side. <laughs> Get your ass off here, man. So black lives, bullshit. all lives matter. <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> y'all, one more time. Thank y'all so much, man. Keep supporting the show, man. I appreciate it. Got love for y'all. And I will holler at y'all later. Peace. Mm -hmm. Hey, what's up? This is your boy, Major Hype. One of the kings of comedy. You know what it is already, man. I was on Pierre's panic room and I survived. It was a little rough, but I survived. Check it out. Turn me up a little bit. Turn me up a little bit. Mm. If you like that show, like, subscribe, and comment below. You know, hit the, hit the notification bell the subscribe button man we want you around appreciate it